What's up everybody and welcome back to another video on SAT math from the Scalar Learning channel. This one is about a topic that everybody has been asking me about and it has to do with timing on the SAT math portion, meaning how do I get through all of the test questions in the allotted time? First, let's break down both of the sections in terms of the amount of questions and the amount of time given. So on the no calculator section, we have 20 questions in 25 minutes. And on the calculator section, we have 38 questions in 55 minutes. When we talk about time per question on each section that roughly breaks down to for the no calculator section about a minute and 15 seconds per question and on the calculator section about a minute and 27 seconds per question. Now if we were to do a strict breakdown of the no calculator section in a linear fashion this is how you could allot your time essentially in these chunks per five questions. The same can be said for the calculator section. So again, if you look at these timestamps, this is literally broken down with an equal amount of time per question. This approach, however, doesn't necessarily make total sense because the difficulty per question is spread out, meaning the first 10 questions are generally gonna be on the easier side, then the next 10 are gonna be a little bit harder and so on and so forth. So we see that we have a progression of difficulty as we move throughout the multiple choice. Then when we get to the free response, we get a reset in difficulty, things get easier easier again for like the first few questions and then it increases again until we get to the end of the test. As a result, we're going to keep it super simple in terms of our approach and where we want to be time-wise per question. For the no calculator section, I'm going to recommend that you get to the end of the multiple choice by around 17 and a half minutes and that's usually question 15 is where that ends. Then you have a nice little chunk of time to finish that free response and again, those five free response questions, the first couple are gonna be on the easier side and then the difficulty might increase. And again, when we're talking about free response, you don't have those choices to guide you. So you have to be a little bit more careful with your calculations and that tad bit of extra time will help with that. On the calculator section, the multiple choice ends at 30 questions. So we're gonna target 42 minutes minutes for that point. This will give you a solid 13 minutes on the free response section. Now I've said a lot in this video and already given you a lot of information, but now I'm going to take it one step further. And what I'm going to say is in general, I don't even want you to think about timing. Now, if you have to think about timing, if you're taking the test right around the corner and you're really having trouble pacing, fine. This can be a general guideline. But I gotta say that with all of my students, when the preparation is done correctly, we don't even think about time. The reason why is if you have a good ramp up period and you can really get into the math and understand what's going on, all you wanna think about is the concepts and understanding them. And once you get fluid and comfortable with all the math concepts, the time issue goes completely out the window. So. As a result, my final words of wisdom are, if you gotta take it right around the corner and time has been an issue, you can use these guidelines. But if you've got a longer period of time of preparation, don't even think about time. Just let the preparation happen. Make sure you're going for mastery and everything will work out. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please click that like button. And if you wanna see more from the Scalar Learning channel, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you guys so much for joining and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.